Hey there, and welcome to another episode of the blogcast for SeanVanDyke.com. I'm Sean Van Dyke, and I'm a construction industry consultant, business coach, and mentor. I help construction business owners streamline their businesses by developing the systems and operations that lead to profitable and sustainable growth. Now, I wouldn't say that I'm your host because this isn't exactly a podcast. There are no guests, no high dollar production, and no agenda. I just want to make it easy for you to get the information you need to run a better construction business. So every time I publish a blog post, I grab my microphone and record an audio version of the post so you can listen to the content anytime, anywhere, and use the information to run a better construction business. All right, with that said, let's dig into the blogcast. On today's episode, we're going to break out our crystal ball and learn how to predict the revenue for your construction business. Now, there won't be any magic spells or sprinkling of magic fairy dust to make these predictions, but we will use a Gantt chart and some good old common sense to ensure we keep the money coming in. Let's get started. The phrase, time is money, may be cliche, but it is true. A plan for money is called a budget. A budget for time is called a schedule. Therefore, a schedule equals a budget for time, which equals a budget for money. I once heard Dave Ramsey say, quote, if your budget isn't written down, then it doesn't exist, unquote. The same rule applies to the schedule, that's a capital S, as well. If you don't produce the schedule, capital S, that people can see, then a schedule, small s, will exist. See this article on construction schedule templates for a further explanation between small s schedule and big s schedule. Using the schedule to forecast revenue. At some level, every construction business sells time. The time it takes to produce the work, the time it takes to manage the project, the time it takes to serve the customer. The revenue for your construction business is directly proportional to the amount of work you produce. When you factor in the amount of time it takes you to produce the work that generates the revenue, then you can determine the value of your production for any given period of time. Determining the value of time. Calculate the value of your time by dividing your target revenue by the amount of time in consideration. For example, if the annual revenue for your construction company is $1 million, then you can calculate the value of each week by dividing the annual revenue by 52 weeks a year. If you want to reach your revenue goal, then you will have to produce, invoice, or collect, on average, $19,230 per week for 52 weeks. Since you know the target value of each week, you can apply this number to your production schedule and compare your target weekly revenue to your scheduled weekly production value. The figure below shows a typical production schedule in a Gantt chart form, so see the blog post for this figure. The total contract amount is shown next to the project completion percentage and the amount of the deposit, 30% of the total, is shown as collected at the end of the pre-construction phase. We can determine the value of each week based on the production of each project and compare that to the target revenue number. This company receives 30% of each project contract upon the completion of the pre-construction phase. As work progresses on each project, the company will invoice the customer based on the work completed. The combination of project deposits and progress payments determine the value of any given week. The company in this example can determine the actual production value of every week and compare that to the average weekly billing, or AWB. In this case, the average weekly billing for this four-week period is $18,250. This amount is lower than the target average weekly billing of $19,230. If this number doesn't improve, either by increased billings, increased productions, or a combination of both, then this construction company will not achieve its annual revenue goal. Adjust the production to adjust the revenue. If the schedule doesn't produce the revenue you need, then adjust the schedule. Can you finish your pre-construction phase a week earlier? This allows you to bill for the 30% deposit. Can you push the production in order to bill for an additional 10% before the end of the month? Pushing for 10% more productivity on each project will add up over time. Even if you fall short of 10% increased production, you'll still have more production than if you never tried. Can you coordinate your project so that the closeout phase of your project doesn't drag on for weeks? Start closing out the job before you need to close out the job. This will fast track the final payment and put cash in your account sooner rather than later. Each of the tactics listed above will increase the value of each week. Forecast the revenue. Once you can use the schedule to determine the average weekly billing that the production generates, then you can forecast the quarterly revenue. The weekly production numbers will influence the quarterly revenue numbers. 
In the example above, this company can forecast the total revenue for the three month period of November to January. Again, if the annual goal is $1 million, then the schedule above shows that this company will be just short of the quarterly metric of $250,000. Armed with this information in advance, this company can adjust the schedule to maximize efficient production and schedule the phasing of the projects to keep cash flowing and meet its annual revenue goals. The schedule is a budget for time and profit. The schedule of your projects will determine the profits for your construction business. The longer your construction company takes to produce work, the less efficiently it creates profits. Time is not a renewable resource. Once it's gone, you can't get it back. Spend your time, like money, in a budget before it gets spent on something else. When you can look at the schedule and see the production value of the work on a weekly basis, then you'll be able to adjust the activities that maximize your weekly revenue. Do you need to make more money? Do you want to streamline your construction business and just get your life back? Well, if the answer to these questions is yes, then you need to apply for one of my coaching programs. Go to seanvandyke.com slash apply and fill out the application for one of my coaching programs and my team will follow up with you about the next steps. And remember, buy my book, Profit First for Contractors. It's on Amazon, it's a Kindle version, Audible, iTunes, it's everywhere. Just Google it and you'll find Profit First for Contractors or head over to the book's website. It's Profit First for contractor.com and on the website you'll find all of the tables the figures and spreadsheets that you can download to help you implement profit first for contractors in your construction business and while you're there if you give me your email address I'm gonna send you what I call the profit first for contractors bonus toolbox it includes a whole bunch of additional materials to help you implement profit first for contractors in your business including a free video training series I call the four core principles of profit first for contractors so head on over to profitfirstcontractor.com and download the free resources and sign up to receive the additional free training